everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to continue on here in Hades. We do not have the oval to do anything at the moment. Let's go ahead and go to the Ares room. You. Take blood frenzy. Let's just go down this Sata hole. Gotta keep searching. Which tunnel? Let's get the Artemis spoon. Huh. 
Alright. Found it already. Oh, what is this stuff? <coughs> Bit of an aftertaste. <laughs> To say I've had a pretty decent time with everybody at our little visit recently. Met you, Uncle Hades, even Great Achilles. Still don't quite appreciate you tricking us, but eh, I can get over it eventually. Anyway, you still could use assistance from me, right? Let's take support fire. The might of the huntress. Chow time boy, are you hungry? A gap. Another gap, huh? All right. Should come in useful. Play dash. Countenance of Cerberus agrees the Sator Sack must be destroyed. I owe you one, boy. I wonder. Do we still have to beat Hades? Yes. You ready for another go? If you are here, then, the Olympians must still be lending you their aid, just as before. I scarce believe the Queen's preposterous idea worked. That all it took to settle an old score was a blasted family feast. Come on, Father, even you must have enjoyed that feast to some extent. We ought to do it more often. Good thing you trusted Mother's judgment on that one. So then, to the death once more? Indeed. To the death, as always, boy. Zagreus, ready yourself. Don't do that. The collapse from the temple, nothing more. We'll chat later, okay? <laughs> What's wrong, boy?
There goes the death of five. Wonder. No, I can't do another boldy shit. There goes another death of five. Shit. Okay, come on. Finally. I must admit, you learned something at some point in all this. Let's. Again. Yes. By my father's name. All right. See what I can catch. The waters of the surface. Sturgeon. What now? Another sturgeon? <laughs> so joyfully did Zagreus attempt to gain the surface that why he just rose too quickly. And we know how that one goes from Icarus's tail. Ah, uh, no. Well. Yeah, at least one with corn knocked. Wonder if I can get out even faster. Hey, hey! I heard the feast you had here. It was really something else. All the gods together in one place, eating, drinking, not killing one another. That must have been a sight. Mm. You should have been there, Hypnos. Not that I noticed your absence, though what happened? Other pressing business. I slept through the whole thing. <laughs> wow. I knew you could Warrior. do it. Be well. So loud, tell me then. How went the family feast? Was everything all right? Well, I confess I was perhaps a little nervous for practically the entire thing, but all in all, I had a good time, and I'm very, very glad it all turned out the way it did. How about yourself? I quite enjoyed it too. Last time I was invited to a feast, I was still busy warring on the surface. That's how long it's been. 
I must say, your mother's quite good with words. Had everybody chatting, laughing. She really pulled it off. But for all her confidence, I don't think she knew she had it in her. Because if she did, if she reached out to Olympus sooner, a lot of things could have been different. Don't dwell on that. I spoke a bit with Nix. Your mother had her reasons. No one gets to act on perfect information, right? All we have is what we think we know, and what our conscience tells us. Your mother got to where all this was possible, all thanks to you. All thanks to me, sir. I had ample help along the way. For instance, I could not have done it without you. Would have been using an old chair leg as a weapon, I suppose. <laughs> and what a fearsome chair leg it would be. In any case, you heading out there soon? Olympus should be more than happy to assist in your security review, if that's what we're calling it now. Yeah, I should go. I'll see you not too long from now. And you, in turn. I have to say, Mother, that was a clever plan. Convincing Father to finally let somebody have some fun around here. <laughs> well... I'm glad it worked out for the best. There's just one thing that happened that I ought to tell you about, son. No secrets between us and all. This is quite difficult for me to say. It's about Demeter, isn't it? You two were talking half the night. She wants you to come home with her, doesn't she? You'll always be her little one, something like that. Indeed. Something like that. You're quite perceptive, have I ever told you, Zagreus? But yes. My mother, she was quite conflicted. Didn't know whether to smite me or to hold me. Maybe both. And yes, she asked that I come home. To my responsibilities. So, you're leaving? No, mother, you can't be leaving. You just got here. Oh, it's not as bad as that. It's just... If we are to keep the peace down here, then I must spend some time up there. Every so often. But I shall always return in no time at all. I promised Hades, and I promise you. Well then, when are you going to go? Soon, Zagreus. Perhaps by the time you're back. I don't suppose I can come with you, can I? You know the surface isn't good for you. Besides, you're needed here. But if you really want to see it for yourself someday, who knows? Perhaps eventually we'll figure out a way. I'm going to miss you, Mother. I'm going to miss you too, son. We're all very proud of you, boy. You were so well behaved at the feast. I was worried sick one uncle or the other was going to set you up at some point, but you were patience incarnate. Thanks for helping show our extended family a good time. How infernal Cerberus, the Hound of Hell managed to maintain civilized behavior throughout the duration of the recent feast remains a mystery to all who attended. How's my favorite boy doing, huh? The dog has enough troubles of his own. So now that the festivities are over with, it's back to work like this the same as ever. Do you have any idea what happens when you announce the underworld as a queen, boy? <laughs> Damn it. Zagreus, I mean. You become inundated with well wishes from every blasted shade that wants something. You're responding to well wishes? Aw, don't you think some of your subjects are sincerely happy for you? The work, nevertheless, has to be done. So, I am quite confused, I must admit, my friend. The Queen Persephone, she is your mother then? How is it that she came to reside here? Well, um, it all started when my father saw her on Olympus, and they fell madly in love. He swept her off her feet and brought her here. The Olympians, they got pretty worried when they saw she was gone. But now it's okay. Everything's out in the open. But surely the Queen's mother on Olympus, the great goddess Demeter... Surely she would quite like it if she saw her daughter still from time to time. Oh, that. Thing is, Mother ate some pomegranate seeds when she was here. And we have rules about that stuff, you know. It means she cannot leave this place for very long at all. 
I'm sure Demeter will understand, and unfreeze everything when her daughter's around. Ah, yes, pomegranate seeds, of course, of course. Though, there is one more subject I don't understand, which is how you fit into all of this. Were you not trying to escape from here? Forget about me, Orpheus. This isn't about me, it's about Mother. What's important is she's here where she belongs. I see. I understand. Well, thank you, then, for clearing all that up. It is a splendid tale, I must say, and every part of it makes sense to me at last. Same goes for me, mate. Same goes for me. What's for breakfast? The stalwart casks of wine within the House of Hades now are almost entirely devoid of content, having bravely stood against the combined thirst of the Olympians during a certain feast. They fought bravely, but Lord Dionysus was too strong. This is my latest hole. I got a Titan's blood. Oh. How's this place looking? Alright. I have one person to talk to, and that's Nyx. And Bart. so, who else is there to be depended on? You are a trusted overseer, Megara. Your station is no accident, and there is no one better fit for what you do. I urge you to look inwardly. How you approach your work is vital to the end result. Thank you for the advice, Nix. I don't know what I'd do without you. Or what this house would be if not for you. We all do that which is within our power. Not my business. Okay. I need more darkness. See you, Mira. Okay. Aegis hungers. Aegis. Hey, Skelly, what with everything out in the open now, with the Queen and Charon and all that, mind if I mention some of this to Thanatos? Charon's his brother, after all. Oh, yeah, now that you mention it, I guess that part of the old contract no longer applies. So, go right ahead. Appreciate you asking, pal. Appreciate you answering. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and end here for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all tomorrow with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Red Rescue Team. Bye, y'all.